Every time they ask us, why we wear the ribbon, why white? I feel a growing pain of blind pride. They don't recognize the war inside each step, each carefully calculated step, as we try not to speak too loud or be seen too much. As we're told to smile through our clenched jaw, our soft teeth have grinded into dust from the pull of some stranger's lust as they shout at us and grab at us and shoot at us. And we look down, force our steps to quicken, faces fall, hair hides grief-stricken cheeks, once bright with a child's innocent gleam. When you learn protecting yourself means hiding. You become quiet in complacency, you become an insect. We women are asking you men to understand. No insect has enough legs to run from danger. Even when we try to be invisible, we are crushed by the steel-toed boot of toxic masculinity. We ask you to look in, look out, hold each other accountable like we hold ourselves responsible. We ask you to ask yourself what manliness is. Is it black tar, big and assertive? Is it fun? Does it ring, and does it smoke, and does it hit like a gun? We ask you if manliness could be gentle, warm and comforting, be teaching your son respect rather than rage. Could it help us live safely? To receive equal education without a looming history of massacres chasing after us, we can stop this from happening to another girl, like her or me, only 18. Praying for a little softness amid the mainstream scene. Praying to rewrite this narrative. To raise men and women with the same values we drifted so far from where peace lives. This ribbon can be a guiding light. A beacon in the darkness. This ribbon is begging for change, saying it's been so long and I agree. So please, take the pledge. Take the rest of your life and use it to love. Let love be the fruit on which you survive. Feed it to the whole village. We all began as one image, one snapshot of a great beginning. So why the separation, anger, and the fear that so desperately clings to my clothes, curdles in my closet, lingers on my skin, makes me bite down on my tongue, keeps me quiet, keeps me silent? Why? I ask you, please, sign. Sign for your wife or mother or child, for the woman who serves you coffee. Sign for the girl you saw shaking on the street, or the one who looked scared for her life when you stopped just to ask her for directions. Fear is ingrained through our whole bodies. So please, sign, before we run out of time.